Hey guys, it is Thursday. Thursday's the day I show you what's on my work table. I have a bunch of mechanical parts because I have another crow in the works. This guy is getting close. Um, I need to create the glass for his beak and then figure out a way to have one of these numbers um, kind of, oops, kind of coming out of his beak somehow. I don't know. Um, yeah, this one's going to have a lot of numbers. I've done two other crows. They both sold. Um, this one's a little different in that it's all about the numbers and it's coming along pretty good. I can't wait to finalize him. He'll be available in October at the Urban Artist Market and uh, he's looking pretty cool. When I get this guy done, uh, I hope to start like a 16 by 20. So that's what's on my work table. Um, bum, bum, bum. So that is uh, what's on your work table Thursday. I wanted to talk to you guys um, a little bit about a conversation I had with Dan yesterday. He's been working a lot of overtime and this week, uh, yesterday he worked like 40 hours or something already and it was Wednesday. But we, he actually got off on time somewhat last night. We went to dinner and we were going by the store and we we're in the grocery store and for some reason we got into this conversation and we were talking about writers that we both like and different poets, uh, local poets that we admire and different people's work and he started talking about his work and I don't know, he he said there were some poems, every now and then he'll make he'll write a poem that he actually likes and but that he really, I don't know, there was just some I don't know, sadness in his voice as he was talking about writing and his work, some frust not really sadness, more than frustration. Um, and, you know, saying he felt like he, his work was authentic, but that, I don't know, he just, I got the sense that he didn't really feel like he was creating enough good work, you know? And in listening to him, I finally just blurted out, I started, made me start thinking about my own work. And I just blurted out, I haven't done my best work yet, <laughs> you know, and I think that's what I was hearing him say, you know, and he said, yeah, he said, yeah, I haven't done my best work either. And I said, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, me always on the sunny side, but I said, isn't that great? We haven't done our best work yet. And he said, yeah, it is great because it would all be downhill if we had already done our best work. And so this conversation has gone out to you guys that write or paint or make mosaics or create, all my creative friends out there. If you find yourself beating yourself up um, on this issue of feeling like you're not doing your best work right now, um, I don't know, think about what's keeping you from doing that. Sometimes it's skill, like you need to keep learning and honing your skills. I think in my husband's case, it's time. That's where his frustration lies, I think. He doesn't, he works so hard at his day job, he doesn't have the physical time to put the time in, to hone his skills, to do his best work. So every now and then he'll create this jewel, whether it's a visual art or a poem or something, and he'll create this shiny thing, you know, and he'll like it, and he'll wish he could do more shiny things. And I get that, you know? Um, for me, I don't think it's an issue of time other than the fact that I may not have the number of years I'd hoped that I would have to get there to create my masterpiece or my best work. Um, but when I got sick a few years ago, Dan really took the burden of me making the income I was making and, and driving Art Paw to greater and greater success. He took that burden off of me and he t he's really encouraged me to do the work I want to do and so for me personally I think the thing that's keeping me from doing my best work is still this mindset of I have to create some you know visual art whether it's mosaics whether it's dog art or whatever that people can afford you know, I need to make work that will sell, that people can afford to buy. I like it when people buy my work. <laughs> we all do, right? And I have it in my mind that larger scale, more time intensive, laborious works um, 
that will get me to the next level of, you know, getting towards the best work idea, you know, that doing those projects, that finding the audience, you know, the person out there that actually has the budget to buy something of that larger scale that can afford it. I, I have it in my, I have this block that that person is going to be a lot harder to find than the person that can afford a $45 smaller piece or, you know, that, and that's true. There are more people with moderate budgets for artwork. Um, but that really shouldn't be keeping me from doing the work that I need to be doing. Uh, and so if that's bigger works or more labor intensive works or, or whatever, or things that, you know, don't have an end audience in mind, that's something that's just being driven by what I want to do. I, I need to be doing that work. Um, it doesn't mean I can't still do smaller things too to market, to go to art fairs with and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that got me thinking. So yeah, if you're creative out there, think about what's keeping you from doing your best work. And also rejoice in the fact that you haven't done your best work yet because um, that's no place to be. <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to be, you know, out there thinking, "Oh, that's my masterpiece. So done, you know, what I take up something new now, I'll go skydiving or something." No, um, it's okay not to have done your best work yet. You know, give yourself a break. Try not to be too frustrated with where you're at in the journey and realize it is a journey. You know, making art isn't about judging your work against previous works or against certainly not about judging it against other people's work. Um, it's about the journey. And, um, yeah, I know that's real woo-woo, happy, happy, but it's true. You know, you gotta, you have to have, to have fun on the journey and cut yourself a little slack and know that, um, you know, each piece is going to be better than the last. And um, I wish you guys happy creating. Get out there and make something. <laughs>